we broke a bunch of stories on the website over the last uh, 15 hours uh, about Bachelor in Paradise. The show uh, production has been suspended. All of the contestants sent home this after uh, allegations that uh, two of the contestants had sexual conduct in a swimming pool in Mexico at the resort where they were filming, and one claims that she was so drunk, that is Corinne, uh, so drunk that she couldn't form an intent to have sexual contact with Demario Jackson, and now there is a full-blown investigation. Exactly. So what happened is that the show was filming on the first day, the last Sunday, actually, down in Mexico, and there was a plot line set up by producers between uh, Corinne Olympios and also Demario uh, Jackson, who was just on this season of The Bachelorette. They were both kind of uh, painted as the villains on their respective shows. Ex exactly, and producers felt that it would be fun to, if they were to get together. So uh, the alcohol was flowing pretty heavily, at this point in the day when they were filming at a bar with other cast members. They start uh, rubbing and kissing and making out at the bar, then move well, to- Well, we should say yeah. that according to DeMario, uh, according to DeMario, um, she was the instigator of this, um, getting on his lap, uh, doing, While the, this is all at the bar. At the bar, doing this and that, and then suggesting they go to the pool. And that's when... Exactly. And then when it moves to the pool, then things seem to escalate. They take off their clothes in the pool, uh, and things become more sexual in Rubbing, nature. Rubbing, touching, a word I'm not allowed to use, at least on television. Uh, and she then pushed... According now, to all him, of this, all of this, this is, on is camera, his story. By the way, this is all all on camera. The right, stuff at the bar, cameras the stuff are the constantly pool. rolling when uh, they're filming these right. shows. And essentially, they um, had oral sex. And um, the issue is, did she instigate it? He says yes. And so all of this stuff happened, and everything seemed fine for a day or so. Nobody was upset. Nobody was complaining. Corinne, Corinne didn't file any complaints. No, as a matter of fact, Corinne and and, and Demario, my understanding is they got along fine the next day, right? Yeah, and so we've been speaking to a lot of people close to Corinne who says that she does not blame DeMario for what happened, but she is very, very upset with producers and is claiming that she was in a blackout state the entire day and felt that producers should have stepped in and noticed that she was, you know, beyond comprehension of what was going on. Um, and so she's very upset that they weren't protecting her. So, so, Charlie, we should say that the translation to all of this is she is saying because she was in a blackout state, she didn't have the she capacity couldn't. to form intent, which makes it then sexual assault. She is blaming the producers, saying that they should have stopped the filming, stopped it, protected her. Now, I will no. tell you very, I want to add this quickly. We have talked to people who um, who seen the, seen seen the, the, the film. They claim that she was lucid. They say that she was very clear about what was going on. She was responsive to, this was not a, someone like half unconscious or. They say that it's very, they say it's apparent from the video that, uh, that, that everything was fine. Now, what, the re what triggered all of this was a line producer on the show, somebody who was actually responsible for kind of shadowing Corinne, um, that person filed a complaint with the show saying, we should have stopped filming. And she didn't see the video, um, and she wasn't there to watch what happened in the pool. But there but were she, a lot of people talking about it the day after. That's what she says, and as a result, she said she filed a complaint, and that's when the executive producer called Corinne and called DeMario, and they basically told them, go home, and then they, which is interesting, because if, she, if they really believed she was the victim of a sexual assault, they wouldn't mm -hmm. have sent her home. Right. But... They told them both to go home, started an investigation. Warner Brothers is investigating what they call allegations of misconduct, and they've basically put the whole show on ice. So nothing's being shot right now while Warner Brothers investigates, but it's interesting that on a show like this, you know, where everybody knows, I mean, look, everybody my understanding knows that is there that are producer, everybody who's on the show has a producer whose job it is is to sort of direct their storyline. It's direct their storyline and to sort of, uh, what, correct. nudge them together. And correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the point of the show to have sex? 
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's all about getting drunk and hooking up and meeting somebody, which is also kind of interesting because our, some of our other Corinne sources told us that Corinne has a boyfriend, and sh that was another one of her points. How can Corinne have a boyfriend if <laughs> she's on the show? Exactly. I don't That's one of the points that we don't strange. understand, is why do you go on Bachelor in Paradise Guys, if you have come a boyfriend? On. That is, that is, we don't really need a lot of time to figure that out. Wait a minute, we do need a lot of time because no, we don't. she no, goes on the show because I understand she's that. But then why is she upset if she goes on the show and does what everybody knows they're going to do in the show, why is she now upset that her boyfriend's going to see it? I, well, see, there are lots that, of that questions. Part there is that part doesn't make sense. Well, that's my point. Well, well she goes on the point. show. If she, I mean, you said it's she knows easy. she has a boyfriend. She knows she's going on the show. Right. So why is it? So going why is she on upset? the show to be famous? So why is she upset? I'm guessing she just went there just to stir up some drama and maybe wasn't expecting to get sexual with people. I mean, oh, come on. I don't know. At least that's what she's telling everyone. Hi, uh, this is Michelle Burnett from Austin, Texas, and I think there are definitely some details that need to come out. Some things don't seem quite right, but I'm glad that they shut the show down to figure it out, and hopefully it'll be uh, back up and running soon because I love the show. So, <laughs> I mean, well. that's actually funny. Now, look, I'm not saying that what her allegations are true or not because, the, again, we're told that the video shows that she was lucid, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. But that's so funny. It's like, okay, there are all these allegations, but I love the show. So yeah, well, everyone loves the show. <laughs> and I think that's why people are so interested in the story because they want to see how it's going to affect the show. Make sure to subscribe to TMZ Live to keep up to date on the latest entertainment news. And if you want to keep watching, click on one of these videos right now.